Is that really where we're gonna get water from? I think this is the central water spot though. I mean, this is where they were getting water from this morning. We could ask someone else. Ustedes um, usan este para el agua? Oh, dude, there's a bug in there. Sean, you should check this stuff out. That's actually how much stuff is in there. We're really gonna drink this water for two months. I haven't seen any other way to get water. Dude, I hope no one gets sick, man. Someone's drowned here. It's probably about five in the morning. I think I have that like sulfuric burp thing happening again. I can't even push on my stomach. Hopefully I can get to go into town and maybe see a doctor tomorrow. I can't sleep another night like this. I'm gonna go get Chris tested for some bacterial infections. Today in town we found out that Chris has some parasites in his stomach. It's called Giardia. Giardia, I believe. And it's like living in my small intestine in here. And it uh, causes like excessive bloating and stomach pressure. Is this the water or the water? Ah, yes, yes, yes. And this water is contaminated. Knowing that I had gotten a parasite simply from drinking water in the village was terrible. Almost one out of every 10 people in the world can't simply turn on a tap in their home and get fresh, clean water. But is not having clean water that big of a problem? 3.5 million people die every year from a water-related disease, which is almost the entire population of Los Angeles. Even if it doesn't kill you, could a sickness change your entire future? Being sick affected every minute of my life. Basically, I haven't been able to eat anything. This is just gonna make me vomit. And I'm just going to the bathroom like 20 times a day. This has been my best friend over the last few days. And I'm just so dehydrated. Oh. Every day, I saw our neighbors drinking the same water that got me sick. And I started thinking about our friend Carlos. If he gets sick, he isn't going to learn well in school. He won't grow as strong as he should. He can't work at his chores or in the fields. He can't be out playing soccer with his friends. If Carlos was sick for a long time or got sick a lot, these things could completely change his life. For his parents, Carlos's sickness means extra costs of doctors, medicine, time taking care of him and doing his chores. For someone surviving on just a dollar a day, these extra costs are impossible. But what choice do you have when your children's lives depend on it? Protection from bad water is a big deal for Carlos' family. But getting clean water means spending time and money to purify it every single day. Why do people who are poor seem to pay more than those who are already wealthy for something as vital as clean water? In places like Europe, Australia, and North America, nearly everyone has clean water. But in developing areas in Southeast Asia, Africa, Central and South America, up to 50% of people live without a clean water source close by. In the US, pipes bring clean water right into our homes. But we noticed that in Peña Blanca, there was no infrastructure to make that possible. Other than big government investments, how can rural villages get the clean water they need? With local support, nonprofit organizations, and international aid, things like buying a filter system, storing spring water in a sanitary tank, digging a new well, or installing a pump that reaches underground aquifers are becoming viable options, even for poor communities. Could something as simple as having clean water be an upward spiral to help Carlos and his family bring themselves out of poverty?
A healthy Carlos has more energy in school and can learn faster because he's there every single day. Carlos helps his dad in the fields and they make more money selling their crops. They buy more, healthier food and Carlos' mom doesn't have to spend time every day boiling water. Without the extra costs of doctors and medicine, Carlos' family sends his sisters to school and even starts to save for a new business. Carlos. It's amazing how something so simple that I take for granted every day can make a huge impact for someone like Carlos.